so the moment of truth what it was really like working at Grant Cardone's office This video has been requested by Storage Hunter X Chris and also Vanya Boone. So thank you both so much for participating by commenting on my inspirational story regarding when working with Grant. And now I'm gonna go more into detail of how the schedule was and what did I have to do every day. So really my experience working for Grant Cardone was literally like boot camp. It changed my whole entire life. I've learned skills that I still implement till this day. I am so incredibly grateful if I haven't said that already. So many times how the schedule was so at the time I was living in Atlanta and I got a call from Grant Cardone not him directly that would have been awesome immediately they wanted to fly me out for the interview all that kind of stuff it went super duper incredible this is exactly what I did to ace this job interview before working for Grant Cardone definitely check that video out we worked for Monday through Friday you also had the choice to work from Saturday and Sunday but majority of the time I did work one day out of the weekend as well just to catch up on work or just even do more work because I really couldn't think of any Anything else to do the hours would be from 9 a.m. to 6 I would go in like an hour before we officially started because our requirement was to do I believe at the time hour of training which is I mean it's awesome I mean we all got to be trained <laughs> seriously I remember I would get up like at four sometimes even five working out very early it's like boot camp I don't know how to explain it it was not a job working for Grant Cardone because I feel like job it's like you do what you got to do but no they push you and if you're not being pushed if you're not reaching your truest potential you're gone my role for the company i was a client performance manager and when i applied i was just hoping to land somewhere within the company my job duties were i made sure that every client that i was assigned to they were getting results from the Carter university program so i would always constantly look at the metrics to see how the uh, staff is doing the number of sales that they did the month for every particular month I would be in communication with the top heads the managers the CEOs making sure that people were on the program doing their segments as well and pretty much helping them get results because at the end of the day that's what it's all about I had close to I believe a hundred clients I constantly had a follow-up even though I was making a hundred over a hundred phone calls every single day I had to make sure that I was in front of them fortune is in the follow-up and that's exactly what we had to do as part of credibility to grant and reputation of the company we had to follow what grant teaches on that's the way to do to do life that's the way to do business life in general sales is everything when you can persuade people when you can change people's minds into following what you believe in and have people follow you for what you believe in and just help them get results and, and transformation and focus on their story and creating results for them I mean all of that is sales I feel like businesses do die because they don't take the time to follow up and we were so big on this follow-up if anything I've gained so much working for Grant in regards to following up let's face it nobody in this world really takes the time to follow up it's like you buy something from them and then that's it and then they wonder why their businesses don't succeed or what the heck is going on because they don't take the time to follow up Grant Cardone does teach on the sales process sales is everything you guys it's not something to just not focus on mastering if you want anything in your life you have to know how to do sales if you want that girl or that guy you have to do sales sales is communication and what you're gonna get out of this channel is knowing how to communicate with people because how are you gonna grow your business without having people how it's impossible dogs rabbits are not gonna buy from you people are so when you learn how to communicate effectively, you will get what you want because if you help others get what they want, you will always have what you want. We had a department meeting at 8.50 because we would start at nine to go over the segments we talked about from Grant Cardone's program. We talked about what were our takeaways and how we can utilize that for that specific day which is awesome. Like we had so much accountability. I didn't realize my truest potential of what I could do as a human being if it wasn't working for Grant. What I loved about him, working for him is that accountability was it. You definitely had people rooting for you. You definitely had people cheering you on and 
When you're around in an environment like that, you can't help but to succeed in what you do. Environment of productivity. As a department, we would talk about our takeaways and what we can do to execute that specific day and what we've learned. And at nine o'clock is when we officially started. Nine o'clock, we had a company meeting. I was being challenged. There was a lot of times where I'm like, I don't know, I don't know if I can do this. In the 9 a.m. meetings, we would talk about numbers. We would talk about our progress in the business. We would talk about how well each department is doing. And I'm telling you, each time, they were doing pretty good. I don't think I remember a day where they weren't doing pretty good. The numbers kept going up and up and we celebrated small wins and also gave a lot of recognition to our fellow mates. <laughs> that will run about like 15 minutes. We definitely don't do like an hour meetings. We don't do any of that. We really focus a lot on productivity and what creates results. So after that meeting, my heart is beating fast because it required us to get on the phones like this. And our requirement was to make over a hundred phone calls. That was really our average. Even though I was like nervous and scared and getting on the phones because it's hard to do that in the beginning but when I started getting in the flow of it it started to become like a game for me it started to become like competition for me and I just you know I became very competitive and it probably wasn't a good thing but you know I would see my fellow members of the team doing so well and I'm like no I gotta beat that so I would do more phone calls or I would get more testimonials from the clients I would go above and beyond not realizing that I'm my biggest competition but I was definitely competitive it's strengthened me so much. There were points where I didn't know how to speak. It definitely helped me out with my presentation skills. I definitely could have done a lot better for sure. Whew, just like thinking about it and going back to that time, it's like, wow, you are capable of doing anything once you definitely have accountability. I know it's easy to just do it on your own and things like that, but when you have a group of people cheering you on, bringing the best out in you, because that's really what happened, you will shock yourself. You would shock yourself. I didn't think I would be, well, maybe, I mean, I thought I was pretty good but I don't know since I don't work there anymore probably not from 9 a.m. to I would say about 6 that's usually the amount of hours but I just happen to sometimes stay like an hour later finish up my work sometimes I'll say another hour later talking to my boss just chit-chatting because I guess I really didn't have much going on in my life at the time my life was really work that's a, a story for another time when it comes to just having work as your life it's not always good because again I didn't last long our product had to be referrals and recontracts and when I found one of my team members do more than that I'm like no I gotta beat that well, I found passion in communicating with other people I still have relationships till this day wonderful great relationship from working from Grant Cardone especially from clients I'm still in communication with clients today because that relationship stay the ones that stay with you they'll fight for you when you learn how to honor how to communicate how to respect how to do all these things when you're humble how to encourage people will forever follow you in whatever business venture you start doing they will buy from you we're in the world here to support one another we're in a world here trying to make it you know and in our businesses in our lives even though it didn't work out it definitely challenged me and it humbled me to think bigger and do things that I want to do not necessarily what society tells me to do again long story for another time I really wanted to outwork everybody I really wanted to stand out and I did to an point but it takes a skill to gain success and it takes another skill to actually keep it I was lacking the keeping the success part because just a lot of things that if you really want me to talk about on I will for another video which I'm pretty sure it's gonna get requested and it takes another skill to actually multiply what you have like multiply your career multiply your money multiply your relationships all of those things are skills when you focus on those things to get better in I mean everything else starts unfolding for you and starts working in your favor I would either be working Saturday if I wanted to or a Sunday there were a couple times where I did work all weekend and I didn't really understand the value of rest to really replenish my mind be creative in my speaking none of that it was just all work you learn through the stubbornness I don't regret any of it if I worked on the weekends it wasn't really like an eight-hour thing it would be like a four-hour I personally enjoyed working for Grant even though it was so challenging even though it wasn't really my cup of tea because because I know some people are like, oh, sales, that's crazy. Well, sales is everything. If you don't know how to sell, if you don't know how to communicate, you're not gonna make it. You're just not gonna make it in life. It's a matter of pushing yourself, going after what it is that you don't even know what it is. Go by faith. You would be shocked and surprised at what you are capable of doing. If you're afraid of sales, just make your first phone call. I remember one takeaway that I got from Jared Glenn is that it takes a lot for us to like get sucked up and make that first phone call. He says, just make that first phone call and everything starts to unfold. You shouldn't be afraid of the phone. You're gonna create a loyal friend 
and they're gonna buy a high ticket item from you. I remember I had this one friend. He, every time there was a Grand Cardone event, those things would go up to like $15,000, $30,000. He would literally sign any invoice that I sent him. Why? Because it was all through relationship. When I was making phone calls to these companies, some of these companies were mean to me. Like we're talking about car dealerships. It was challenging for me because I was able to turn those relationships around. Like when they would try to be mean to me, they would feel like right after because I was killing them with kindness. It was like a video game making phone calls. I was just getting a high from it to be honest with you. I'm like, oh my God, I'm at 50 phone calls, a hundred. I was getting high from this. I was feeling that I was progressing in life. I felt like if I wasn't making any phone calls, I felt like I didn't take a shower. It has taught me a lot of discipline. It has taught me to work in excellence and diligence. I didn't think I would learn how to sell a high ticket item. I still don't know how to do that because I just focus on relationship. Focus on relationship first business follows that recipe for success will always work if you try to change that it's not gonna work I always tend to follow that when I'm working you know in regards to like sales or business I focus on relationships because you obviously got to build trust with people I really focused a lot on relationships more than anything and that is not my strength at least it wasn't before I was working for grants it's just so easy to not talk to people if I had to make money I have to talk to people I had this one client that sent me 3,000 solar companies as referrals Every day was a success working for Grant. If anything, I'm so grateful that I've learned sales from Grant Cardone. The main thing is learn sales. Sales is part of life. Sales is everything. For you to get anything in life, for you to have that booming business, for you to have that dynamic business, for you to grow your income, for you to have harmonious relationships with your spouse, with your girlfriend, with your kids, anybody. Sales is number one key. Thank you Grant for that opportunity and everybody else that works with you. If you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments by letting me know what you enjoyed best. Like this video so the YouTube algorithm can push more of my videos out in the world. Thank you for supporting me. Please Please also share it with people that you love so they can also be inspired by the story. You are amazing. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Let me know what ideas and suggestions you have. I really appreciate you. Thank you for your loyalty. Have a great day. Woohoo!